Hi everyone, Mariette here from Inner Connection. In my online conscious parenting course called From Havoc to Harmony at Home, we are trying to make your job as a parent, teacher, or therapist a lot easier. One of the ways that we can really get that yes from a child, yes means success, it means that our child is agreeing to cooperate with us, um, that's a great moment and we want to stay in this flow we creating flow we want to stay in the flow and we want to create momentum to just keep on going while there's this really positive energetic exchange between ourselves and the child that we're working with or ourselves as a parent and our child so listen to this that is the satisfying sound of velcro please get a printer Get a laminator and get a, a roll of Velcro. It is going to make your life so much easier. The reason why we use visual aids is because children are not auditory learners. When we are presenting them with lots of auditory information, it literally goes in the one ear and it comes out the other. So if we want to support our process of communicating and connecting with our child, we need to make sure that we have that really good plug-in, that we start with great eye contact, clear one-step instructions if that is where the child is at, and that we are also working on building their listening skills and their following of directions. And visual aids will support this whole process. It supports the child in terms of the instruction, the listening, and the following of directions. Get a printer, get a laminator, get that roll of Velcro because your child is going to love it. Let them help you make it. Let them, for example, choose the theme. If they love Thomas the Train, you can use Thomas the Train. When you do a simple strip like this, you'll just make sure that there's also Velcro at the back. So the way this would work is that your child would have all four of these tokens. So they've got 100% from you and their job is to keep it. And then when they're not making a good choice without making a big drama, you just simply put one of them behind, which means they can earn it back. And then you have an agreement with them that before they can move on to the reward, they need at least two of these, three of these, or they need all four of them. Do you hear that? <laughs> That's the sound of success. Um, here is another one. So this is the Toy Story theme. Again, pick a theme that your child will really relate to. This one would kind of show how many activities there are. And in this one, you wouldn't have them. And every time that your child completes an activity, you'll add one of them until they have all the tokens and then they know they're ready to go and play. Here is another one that works really well that you don't need to repeat yourself. So this is to be quiet. This is to look. This is if you want them to stop doing something. When you want them to say something, ask for what they want, use their words. This is a reminder on how to sit, where their hands should be, how the lineup should be, that we want them to walk, not run, that they must ask for help, that we're taking turns, that they're waiting for something, that they first need to do something for you before they can move on to the thing that they want. So this, you can clip on your clothes, you can clip it on your handbag, you can wear it on your belt, and it's super, super effective. And you know, you can just individualize this to so suit your child and your own needs. Especially when you go out in public, it's really nice to have the visuals to remind um, our child of what it is that we expect from them. And here is another little one as well that is a reminder that we can put on their desk or when they sit on the carpet. This is called full body listening. So where should their eyes be? They should be listening, what their hands and their leg and legs and their feet should be doing. So yes, 
when we are using visuals, we save this voice and we're not needing to repeat ourselves constantly. And because children are visual learners, it's super supportive for them. Love and light, Marie.